Hot Don, second video. Continuation. These also were bought at Target. Let's see if we get crap. 24. 24 Cross Spirits. Again. This will, again, be a lot. I've, I've opened a lot of cards, if you couldn't tell, of Cross Spirits and King's Court at this point. King's Court, I've gone $700 deep in. I'm not afraid to say that. I have gone $700 deep into buying booster packs and boxes and have not pulled a, a single God card at all. I could have probably bought all three of them for the price that I've paid for booster boxes and, and packs and everything. And the same goes for Cross Spirits at this point. I could have bought the card that I've been looking for pretty much outright with how much I've spent. I think I've spent about 600 bucks in total. And that, and obviously, that's not over the, you know, period of a week. That's over a period of, like, two, three months for both King's Court and, well, King's Court's probably a little bit more than that. But for Cross Spirits, it's been about two months, I think. I, I don't know. I've spent a lot on it, though. Since it came out. Trying to pull something good. Trying to pull something worthwhile. And uh, it does not seem to be working out for me in either department. I mean, the only thing that I've gotten good recently is the uh, Evolving Skies booster boxes that I opened. And out of three of them, I only got, uh, what, I think three alternate arts? Which, I mean, that's not a bad, that's, I mean, a one-to-one -one box ratio at that point. But I don't think I got anything all that great, which kind of sucks. Now, with Cross Spirits, what we're looking for is the Goku Frieza. It'll probably never be pulled by me, and that's okay. Got a nice little Awakening Gohan there. I've never played the TCG for this, so I don't know what, oh, wow. I don't know what any of the cards do at all. Well, I, I don't know the the whole awakening thing. I don't understand all that. Mostly because I've never played it. But that's okay. You don't have to play it to know what you're doing, I don't think. Or at least to collect. Because <laughs> I don't think I would ever play it. Gohan, 17, Majin Buu, Music Box, Go Tanks, Go Ten Trunks. Cybermen. Bunch of crap. I wish the top card would stop sliding. Because that would be great. God, I really don't want to mess up any of the cards. I've noticed that I keep pulling it out like that and it keeps like slapping on things. Ultimate Dragon Tackle. The worst part is I think we've seen every one of these like completely. We're gonna try to get them diffused and see if we can get something good by their power. Videl, Grit Saiyan, Shinron, Vegeta, and the uh, SR Great Saiyan. Trying to make sure yep, that I don't bend cards. 17, Shinron again. Pan, 17, Tapion, Power of Beyond, Super Saiyan 2, Hyrudagon, Goku, it's actually not a bad looking Goku, it's a rare card, but it doesn't look bad, it does not, it looks pretty good, that might go in my own collection, even though it's a rare That's what's crazy about these these Dragon Ball Super cards is like the art on them are so good. Are so good is so good. Like they're they're good. Even like the lower rarities look really nice. Another dispo. I hate dispo. I don't know if you know that. I actually didn't like any of the other warriors of the universe. Like Universe Eleven. I don't think I liked any of them.
Like, Jiren was okay, but, I mean, character-wise. Oh, oh, that's another Trunks. Looking for Goten. Another Videl. Vegeta. Tien. Master Roshi. And a SR-16. It's not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm trying to make sure that everything kind of stays on screen. Come on, baby. Give me the Goku Frieza. Please give me a secret rare that I actually want. Please. Any secret rare at this point would be great. Master Roshi. Fidel, I me messing stuff up. Another Gohan. Come on. It's just one secret rare. Just one. Just one secret rare. Good Saiyan Man 2, which is Videl, Majin Buu, Calamity, Shinron, there is Goten. They're fusing. Diabolical Blow and a Trunks. Calamity Challenger. I have not seen that card, surprisingly. Surprisingly, I have not seen that one. Great Saiyan Man, Trunks. See if we can find it as a non hollow because I think... Maybe? I don't know. It is an SR. Maybe it's not just like a holographic rare. Look, there's Vegeta. Can we get a Goku doing that? Opposite way or some, something? 17, Gohan. Oh, please give me a secret bag. At this point, every video is just going to be me begging for mercy and get, you know, like to get something good for how much money I've put into this crap and not got anything actually super decent. <clears throat> Which kind of sucks. Majin Buu. 17. Beyond Super Saiyan 2. Videl. That. Gohan. Calamity Challenger, apparently. A coquette, coquette, co cocate, coquette, warrior of universe 11. Probably more crap. Exchange of power, Vegeta, Goku, Krillin, Videl, Hellfighter 17. Oh, why can't I just get anything good? Like, why is my cards, like, when I open cards, it's just, it's never anything good. Like, my luck for opening cards is atrocious. I have to go five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars deep to get one card. And half the time, it's not even the one I want. It's not even, like, the main card that I actually want. And it kind of sucks. <laughs> like, it's, it's definitely not fun going super deep for a card every single booster box every single set that comes out it kind of seems that that's what happens like for example shining fates you know i went a thousand dollars deep uh and did not pull either the charizard or the suicune i was extremely upset about that i've yet to <laughs> I've not bought a Shining Fates item since because just how just annoyed that uh, just annoying that was to not be able to get anything I actually want. There's Go Tanks they fused. Yeah, we'll start kind of actually piling these up. I know that's not exactly the best to do, but. But yeah, Shining Fates, I went extremely deep because I actually really wanted the Suicune, surprisingly. It wasn't the Charizard that I wanted, but I figured with how deep I would go, I would get one of the two. Didn't get either of them. Neither one. Which sucks. I think I, I like, my opening is just horrible. Just, just horrible luck. And I kind of wish it would change. Because it sucks. 
when you go, when every single pack that comes out, every set comes out, you have to go a couple thousand dollar deep just to get one card that you want that's not even worth it. And it's like, yeah, I, 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 you shouldn't. Maybe you should just buy the card outright at this point, but, I mean, it's like that. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I mean, look at Chilling Rain. I didn't even buy any booster packs, nothing for Chillin' Rain. I went ahead and immediately bought two cards from it that I wanted that were alternate arts. I bought the Zora alternate art, and I bought the um, <clears throat> Galarian Rapidash alternate art. That's one that we haven't seen, surprisingly. And I think for both of those in total, I only spent like 100 bucks. Whereas if I would have kept opening, or would have opened packs and stuff, I'm sure I would have never gotten those. Like, I think my luck comes down to just absolute random. Because I've had decent luck sometimes, very randomly. Like, I, uh, for Rage of Raw, I opened a Ghost Rare Wing Dragon of Raw on, like, my fourth booster box. So, like, I mean, that's pretty good. You know? Hey, look at that. That I haven't seen either, by the way. Um, and then another one that I've opened up that was extremely rare is a Unbroken Bonds uh, hanger box with three booster packs in it. Opened it up and I pulled the $200 Rainbow Rare Reshazard, which is like a Reshram and a Charizard. Which I'll, I'll show my collection off here at some point of what I have and my methods to obtaining them most of the time. Here's a hint. It's it's not from packs. <laughs> it's from buying them just outright, usually. Which kind of sucks, but, I mean... I, I sometimes... It, it depends. Like, I'm not against buying just a single card just to get it. But at the same time, I do really enjoy opening packs. I do really like going into the hobbies and, and and seeing what I can pull but a lot of the time it does not come out very well which sucks Vegeta the brawler am I the only person that likes Vegeta more than Goku I mean there's people out there I know there is there's a lot of them but Vegeta definitely this is just so much better than Goku. Not even because of like anything stupid. It's just I don't know. I just like like him a little bit more. Your own. But yeah, those are the only two really uh, instances I've pulled something extremely expensive that I've opened. Uh, everything else I've I've bought pretty much which sucks um but that's you know that's how it be i mean maybe after this i'll do a video showing off kind of what i got in each category you know Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon dragon ball z because those are the only three that i'm going to be collecting i i don't plan to branch out any farther i mean there might be one-offs like you know some other stuff but it's definitely not going to happen very often. And at this point, video game wise, I'm just kind of waiting for stuff to come out. I think Far Cry 6, I'm going to try to stream uh, for the most part. Or at least try to consistently upload of it. So that way, you know, something's going up on the channel. Because I can't just do these every day. Let me tell you now, these are expensive. Now, as much as I would like to do these every day, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to. Which, I wish I could make a life out of it and actually open these every day, but nope, cannot do so. It is not plausible. It is raining heavy now. Motherfucker.
fucking topo. Well, we got two new cards that we've never seen before, finally. After, you know, three, four hundred dollars worth of shit. Look at that. Spirit Bomb Goku. And a Ultra Instinct Goku. That. that didn't work for me at all. But don't worry. I'll be opening more when I get the chances. Oh, man. That really, that really sucks. That I didn't pull it again. At this point, I might honestly just buy it outright. Is that the only SPR we pulled? Uncommon. I'm trying to see if that's the only SPR we pulled. It's out of 24 packs. I mean, that's kind of crap. That's an SR, apparently. It's an SR. That's an R. That's an uncommon. That's an SR. That's an SR. Yeah. That is the only SPR we pulled. That's disappointing. <laughs>